We spoke to the chief of the Detroit Police Department, James Craig, about the crisis of the mentally ill committing crime and his officers being the first responders to de-escalate the violence. Chief James Craig of the Detroit Police Department says his officers are in week 10 of managing Black Lives protests in the city and the violence is real. Four officer involved shootings in three weeks. You think some of these individuals are suffering from some mental crisis? The chief says Detroiters experience a lot of violence daily. He says Sheriff Benny Napoleon is dealing with a prison population that's nearly 70% mentally ill, including people like Darian Walker, who was recently killed by a Detroit police officer who confronted him wielding a samurai sword. He was released from a crisis center 24 hours earlier. What do you have to say about that? Broken system. It's tragic. This is not the first time I've talked about this. The chief says the system is broken, both nationally and here in Michigan, due to a lack of funding. Mr. Walker, it's tragic. And, you know, my heart goes out to that family. Did he receive the type of service that he and his family was entitled to? The chief says his officers arrive first when there is violent behavior and family members are often the ones calling for help. Where's the problem? Is it with law enforcement or is it with a broken system? We're the courts on this issue. The chief says the solution is more funding. We've had 15 crisis calls, barricaded suspects, armed and dangerous suspects this year. All of them ended without incident. The chief credits his department's training for those incidents ending so peacefully. Glenda.